This is not how Egypt intended to welcome Russian President Vladimir Putin. A day before Putin's landmark visit to Cairo, more than 19 people died in confrontation with the police at a soccer game in Cairo. Most of the victims suffocated when the crowd stampeded after police used tear gas to clear fans who tried to rush into the stadium where two Cairo clubs were playing in the Egyptian league. This severe incident comes only 10 days after a wave of terror swept the Sinai Peninsula, causing dozens of casualties. This is the first visit to Egypt by a Russian president since the Mubarak administration was toppled in 2011. Russia and Egypt are considered close allies and the connection between the two countries became even stronger after Abdel Fattah el-Sisi became Egyptian president in 2014, a move that changed the entire region and shook the long-lasting ties between Egypt and the US. Last year, Russia and Egypt reached a preliminary arms deal worth $3.5 billion. Bilateral ties between Russia and Egypt are old, in particular in military areas, and this was discussed by the Russian defense minister with his Egyptian counterpart yesterday. During the two-day visit, Putin and al-Sisi will discuss such topics as the violence engulfing the Middle East and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But perhaps both leaders will have to face the challenges closer to their respective homes, growing violence and terrorism in Egypt, and the ongoing fighting in eastern Ukraine.